Creatives, welcome back. Joseph Sarkar here, and in this video, I want to guide you through how to play the Boogie Woogie Piano in just three simple steps. Perfect if you've never done this before, or you just want a quick recap. Um, I love teaching the Boogie Woogie, right? It's like, <laughs> firstly, it's so much fun and energizing, especially when you start getting that flow and confidence with it. Um, but also, it's fantastic for hand coordination and rhythm two of those all-important skills that we often struggle with as beginners. So if you don't think Boogie Woogie's for you, or you've never done it before, then give this a go, because chances are you'll find it super useful. Um, step one, we're going to try and lock down this left-hand Boogie Woogie riff uh, in a few different smaller steps, so to speak. So left hand into this position here, and we've got our little finger on the C and our thumb on the G. Now, you can do this up here if you want. Um, uh, it's entirely up to you, uh, or, or depending on what piano you've got, but I'm going to do it down here. And all you're going to do is rock backwards and forwards between this position and this position, okay? No need for the pedal, you can put the pedal in if you want, but uh, when you speed it up, you know, Boogie Boogie's not really a... You don't really need the pedal as much, right? So here, look, move between these two, and what we're looking for is just a general familiarity with these two positions, a nice looseness from the shoulder all the way down to the wrist, okay? And smoothness and consistency, just moving between them, okay? Once you've got that, we can add in another strike, so we strike in each one of those positions twice, and it sounds like this. Okay? Now a metronome is your friend here, just find that speed that's comfortable for you, you can take as much time as you need to speed this up and get comfortable with it. Um, but again, all the all the same things apply. We want to be really nice and loose at the shoulder, all the way down to the wrist. We don't want to be stiff, right? Okay. Now you might recognise this in and of itself as a bit of a chop, as a bit of a riff, right? It's very sort of. Um, Very sort of status quo, sort of, sort of um, rock and roll style, right? It's not the boogie woogie yet, um, but that's the next step. Just try and get that smoothness and that consistent movement between those. And then we can add in the shuffle and try and get this. Okay. Again, smoothness, lightness of touch. It's going to be super important when you start speeding this up. It's got to be loose. Something that may happen, happens all the time with beginners, is this. Okay? The, the, the chop gets reversed. And um, so just watch that out. And you want to make sure that you're moving on the fast bit. All right? That's the general rule. Change the chord on the fast bit. Yeah? So that's step one. Locking down that left hand. It doesn't matter how fast you play this for now. Okay? So you just... What you're looking for is confidence. Uh, smoothness and consistency in that rhythm. You do not need to play this super, super fast yet. Now, step two. Right hand, we're going to try and lock down a really, really good beginner style boogie woogie riff. And in your right hand, same thing, right? So we started off with this power chord in the left. We're going to start with the power chord in the right. And we're going to strike this six times, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's it, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then to finish off, put your fourth finger onto the F, strike the C and the F, and then your third finger onto the E flat, and then the thumb onto the C like this, all right? Now, I'll just play that together so you can hear what that sounds like, and then we'll, we'll just go over that once more. So it sounds like this. See that? Bit of a classic sort of boogie woogie esque kind of thing. Now, let's do this again. So you want to try and put that, uh, put those two sections in the right hand together like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ba, da, da. Okay. So set a metronome off, right? One, two, three, four. And then you just gradually speed up if you want. Again, speed is not the objective here. It's the looseness in the wrist all the way down here. Okay. Um, now, 
when you've done that, we're going to do it really, really slowly. And your objective now, before moving on to stage three, is to get that general level of, again, confidence, fluidity, smoothness, all the way down. But we want to try and get them both together. Even if it's super slow. And you know, even at this speed, it sounds pretty cool, right? Now, um, get to that stage, but I'll just, show you, I'll just show you one more thing, right? Here's something super cool that you can flick into this, right? From here. See what I'm doing there? I'm going to get that, little, uh, that middle finger and just pull it back onto the E. Now, I do have a video on this technique in its entirety, so you can check that out in the card. It's called the pullback technique, but it can really elevate that, uh, that riff. So I thought I'd slip that in there for you to give it a go, but um, that's not the objective by all means. Step three is all about now developing that speed, okay? So step one, learn the left hand riff. Uh, step two, learn a riff, hands together, really nice and steady, really nice and slow, making sure we're all confident and smooth and all of that stuff. And then step three, we're gonna work on speeding it up. So it sounds like this, okay? This is where we should be. So I want you to get a metronome so a pretty good place to start would be crotchet equals 75. Okay, this is about the speed we were working on. So. Okay. And then you need to take as much time as you need to and in as smaller increments as you need to over time to just increase the speed, right? So I'm gonna increase it faster just for the purposes of this video, but this will be 85. try 100. Remember, you do this at a speed that's comfortable for you, maintaining that structure, that confidence, that flow. Now it's beginning to sound a little bit more like it, right? So, up to 115. Now we're talking, right? Now we've got a bit of um, now we've got a bit of uh, boogie boogie going, eh? <laughs> okay, so probably about the 115 mark is where you want to get to. That's a pretty confident, competent boogie woogie. But by all means, you can try going faster if you want to. You've just got to make sure that you keep that looseness, that, that, that flow and that confidence. Once you start finding that you hit a speed where you're locking up and you're tensing up, stop, relax, all right? Just keep it, keep it back at that nice tempo, get used to it and then slowly increase it, right? 125. <laughs> Brilliant. So that's the idea of step three. It's just about developing that confidence, developing that speed and speeding up. Now, one thing I want to mention here before we close this video out is that steps, step one, you can just get that, right? So step one, learn that left hand, job done. Step two and three, you can repeat with any riff you like in that right hand, okay? Um, you can use step two and three as a bit of a system to plug in a right hand boogie woogie riff and out will come a confident riff that you can play. So for instance, try this one, right? So instead of that one, try this, right? One and, uh, so bam, bam. Okay, so see what I'm doing here? Two and three and four and one. This is a small step forward as far as rhythm goes and as far as coordination goes. We've got those triplets at the end, but it's a super cool riff. So I'm not going to go over that in detail, but you can now take this one. One and two and three and four and one. Okay, four and one. F sharp, F, E flat, um, C. 
So take that, do exactly the same thing, steps two and three, uh, and then, you know, take whatever riffs you like. Build up a little bank of riffs in your head when you come to being able to improvise Boogie Woogie. It's gonna be so much fun. So, those are my three steps, you know, how to play the Boogie Woogie in three simple steps. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I've put together a few different types of resources that I've done over the years on Boogie Woogie down in the information box below and the cards up above. So do check that out and see if anything takes your fancy, uh, particularly a premium lesson I did on the perfect beginner Boogie Woogie riff. You can grab that right now. As always, creatives, view that piano through a lens of joy, fun, and of course, creativity. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I will see you, I will see you in the next one. Peace.